Well, I made my first puppet about four years ago. My mum helped me. I, I carved it out of foam so it was very square and then we put a felt on it so it looked like a talking cushion. When I'm older, I'd love to work on Sesame Street and if it's possible, I'd like well, they do the Muppets as well. Uh, my name is Earl and I'm a monster and I live here. Mostly, I don't really work with the design in mind. I think I did some drawings of her, but the rest of them I've kind of just made. Normally, it takes a while for their personality to kick in, because I find that bit a lot harder than the actual building is the personality. And some of them, you just look at them and there's a personality right there. Some of them, it's a bit harder. My name's Pamela. I'm a, from a rather grand part of England, and I've got a very long neck because the building wasn't too good on this one. Uh, Ruan, he wasn't very good back then. I don't think he's even that good now. I'm, I'm still learning like puppetry. Before, I, I would only just build them. I wouldn't generally perform with them, but um, I've always wanted to work on Sesame Street, so I thought you'd have to do something with it. When the lockdown happened, the first lockdown, uh, we were meant to be going to see the musical Hamilton. And I'd filmed a video of my puppet singing a Hamilton song back in September, and I thought, well, I should show this to my uncle, I think he'd like it, and my uncle put it on Twitter. We, we were thinking, oh, I wonder who'll see it, and uh, one of the puppeteers from Sesame Street saw it. Uh, Warwick Brownlow Pike, he's an English puppeteer. He got in touch, just supporting and saying, you know, keep up the good work, and then a month or two later, he sent me a load of signed photos in the post. That was absolutely amazing. Acting is very important, because, I mean, it, it's, it's a form of acting. Um, I think how being able to hold your hand up for a long time. <laughs> well, it was lovely to meet you. <laughs> Which way is he at? 